This video is brought to you by Miniature Market. Thousands of board games, miniatures, and paints, discount prices at miniaturemarket.com. Hello, everybody. As you know, we have been playing for against darkness quite a bit lately, and we're taking these characters on a wonderful ride. But our ride doesn't have to stop there. It doesn't have to stop with the manuals that we have. Uh, I was able to download this very fascinating Four Against Dungeons and Dragons. Now, this is a very interesting uh, supplement. And I'm not going to show you because there's only a few pages in it. But how it breaks things down is very, very interesting. What you're going to do is you're going to pick up your favorite mo module. Uh, for D and D. Now, what I've been doing is I've been going to drive through, uh, drive through, <laughs> uh, drive through RPG, and uh, taking a look at some of the older, older um, dungeon crawls, like the original ones that you're able to download and and print out and stuff like that. And they seem to work best with this system because back then it was a lot simpler. Um, what what you're going to use is a 10 minute time frame okay so if you go into a room you're going to keep track of you know starting at, at dawn and then working your way through in 10 minute time uh, frames so going into different rooms and stuff like that will be 10 minutes a room um, you're, the other thing that uh, really stands out in this is converting over um, um the creatures and if you look at the four four against darkness if you just take you know you, you run into skeleton i mean skeletons well there's a listing for skeletons and you can have the stats from them but you can kind of take like golems and stuff like that and make them giants which is on the um four against uh darkness and just convert them to that and make them level three level four and so forth and so on you can add more levels to them as your characters go up um, that is an easy adjustment the other thing is character creation you keep everything simple don't worry about all the skill checks and stuff like that just assume that you are going to whatever you're reading is considered almost like a rumor and that uh, works so even if it says in the manual hey this is only for the dungeon master's eyes only well no you can read that and it helps build and build to your story another thing i really suggest is getting a good notebook for each adventure and what you're going to do is you're going to mark down your time and mark down your events and everything that you do now the other thing is is that you know minions and vermin are different you know, we don't get experience for vermin, but we get experience for minions. So, say you run into giant rats. Well, we also know that giant rats are just vermin. Okay, bats, vermin. You know, you would consider, consider those things. Minions like skeletons and zombies and orcs and trolls and all those things are minions. And, and you can work and convert depending on the, the level that your module is. So something that would be minor, you would keep it at that particular level. Say you're reading a, um, a module for level three to five. Well, your tougher and upper echelon villains and your bosses would be definitely level five to level, level six. And then your run of the mill stuff, well, you would keep it at that level, which is level three. Really neat on how this all comes together and taking that notebook and starting your quest log. This really is something that I really like. Now there's a now they say in this book that there is a system out there uh, called Mystic Game Master Emulator, which I'm going to be checking out, and we're going to compare it to this little pamphlet and see what how it works out. I really enjoyed this because I was able to download some of the old school stuff, and I kind of started working on it and remembering some of the old things that I played back in the early 80s, uh, late se uh, late 70s. And uh, it was just a lot of fun because it fits. It really works really well if you convert in your mind everything to the 4AD system. And uh, this little pamphlet really does help and makes a big difference. So now you have a variety, a variety, a variety of, of adventures that you can play. And it doesn't matter 
you know, whether it's 4th edition, 3rd edition, you know, 5th edition, 19th edition, everything works within this parameter. And you can take some things also from some of these, these fantastic, fantastic, uh, some of the new rules that they pop into some of these expansions. And uh, you can adhere those into the same thing with the same type of charts. So I really suggest this. Go down to Drive Through RPG for against Dungeons and Dragons. I really suggest it. Take a look at it. It's free to download. So even if you disagree with me, guess what? It doesn't cost you anything. So go check it out. I really think that you're really going to enjoy this. Until we meet again and we are playing once again our favorite RPGs and adventures, it's Joe Pal Rob saying we'll see you soon.